Hi, I'm Lou Perosi. Today I'm going to be demonstrating to, to you guys um, how to make a, an altered pitcher. Okay, so what's the process for throwing it on the wheel and then changing it? So we're going to have this uh, pitcher shape that's sort of oval. All right, now we're going to do the same thing uh, when we begin to start throwing, which is uh, creating that sort of cylinder shape, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just cone it up and down as we would. I'm just gonna do this a few times, all right? And really, this isn't where all of the magic starts to happen. This is just part of it. There's a little bit of uh, area of interest here. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Maybe I'll pull it out even a little bit bigger, okay? Once I've done that, and I've really locked it into the bat head, I'm gonna go ahead and make my opening. But this time around, I'm gonna go all the way to the bat head. So I'm not even gonna worry about a bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it, all right? Get right there at the bottom, all right? And you guys see how you can see it at the bottom? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly push it in, but at the same time, I'm gonna compress the top. Now that's really important because if I start pulling and pushing it, this may fall off, okay? So by applying a lot of downward pressure, that's gonna keep that sort of donut shape in place. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna squeeze it, and again, you see that top hand is critical, and start to thin that out. All right, you see how it's just a big old empty thing down there. All right, now I'm gonna just bring it up. And again, that compression on the top as I drive it up is gonna be very critical. Okay, so I just start to squeeze. All right, and I'm just gonna take a little and then... All right, we're just gonna keep working. Now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of this bottom down here, just so I get my fingers down underneath there and I wanna pull that, all of that clay up, okay? Well, that's okay. Um, I get my S12. If I really want to clean this line quality up, add a little water. Again, I'm going to use this like a lathe. And then that's probably going to be a pretty good shape. All right. Now, once I've got that, this is where the sort of the action happens. Something we don't ever think about is when we're throwing, we're always confined to the wheel itself. But once we start thinking of how we can change the shape, we can do world's the limit. We're not, you know, sort of stuck with what we can do just from a cylinder, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my wire tool and I'm gonna load up water like nobody's business, okay? So I got a ton of water here. I'm gonna get my hands nice and clean. All right, so here's how you make something oval on the wheel. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. All right, once I've done that, it's simple. I'm on like an ice rink. So I could take this, all right? I usually will start a little bit of the shaping. I get rid of all this gobbly goop. All right, 
Now I re-add some water. All right. And then I just squeeze whatever form I want. Now this is it's just, now one important thing is I will always want to take that water back out. All right, we don't want any of that in there. So right now I got all this water. And so I'm just gonna take that out. All right, so we don't have any more water left. Water here is gonna be very bad for us. Very bad for us, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna create that, that it's gonna just soften that clay and it's gonna become like muck. Now when you're doing this, a really big key is after you've cut it, you're gonna look at the bottom and you're gonna have like little, little ends. You can see that inside there, little ends on the sidewall. Clay is really like mucky in those corners. So what I'll do is I'll run my hand in and sort of compress all that crap that's on the bottom, okay? Run my finger just like this and sort of get rid of any sort of loose clay at the bottom. Everybody see that? Know what's going on? See, I'm just running my hand. So if you look at it, I've compressed it a lot, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead, recut it. I'm gonna keep taking the water off and then I'm gonna let this set up. Um, once I get the shape right, I'm gonna let this set up for uh, a little bit before it's leather hard, okay? Once that is a great time to what we're gonna do called cutting and darting. And then we're gonna assemble this and it's gonna completely change its shape. Okay, does that make sense? So this is part one. Thank you.